Welcome back. Now, in case you're just joining us, this is Metrofar right here on Channels Television. We are on the last stretch of the show, and that will take us all the way to Adagbabiri in Sagbama, local government area of Bayosa State, for the burial of a former member of the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC. I'm talking about Engineer Sonny Kentebe. It began with a procession through the streets of Bayosa State, south of Nigeria. Children of late engineer Sonny Kentebe were joined by members of his hometown at Agbabiri in Sagbama local government area of the state. His remains is received by the Council of Chiefs in Kabowe Kingdom, where the late engineer Kentebe is a high chief of the clan, which comprises some communities in Bayelsa and Delta State. A brief stop here, and later the commendation service began with a session of praise and worship for a life believed to be well spent. He was a true philanthropist and ardent interest in education. Engineer Sonny Kentebe shared his good fortune among so many people and was adored by many as one of the most generous that ever lived. His kindness knew no bound. He was academically gifted, yet kind and humble. The late Kentebe died at the age of 83. His was a life of service and remarkable achievements, as attested to by those who came to honor him. I met Engineer, Engineer Kintabe's legacies when I became a member of the board of the NCC. We had to tow the path he left all through my stay with the NCC. My advice to all of us is to leave a legacy behind, leave a life full of love and friendship for everyone that we meet. That was what Baba is to all of us. And I believe this legacy will live after him. We should all learn to live the type of example that engineer High Chief Patrick Kentabe has left for all of us in the place. For those of us who are not yet near his age, we pray to be as old as him and older. And all of you who are not yet will be older than the age he attained before he died. High Chief Sonny Kentabe was not just a father to his children, he was a father to the whole of the family. And you can testify by saying that all his nieces nephews, cousins, are all seated here today to one of those great men who led us gracefully, graciously, and he has left a lasting legacy for not only the Kentucky family, or the Alabamiri family, or Bayelsa State, but for the whole of Nigeria to emulate. Say, I do, Papa. 
discover that we take care of the irrelevant things. Take care of our bodies, take care of our family, thank God for the testimonies of the families and the children. He's a good man. He's a good man. Thank God you also could be a good person. Take care of your family, take care of friends. You take care of your properties and your possessions. But many a times, you neglect your soul, which is the most important thing. Engineer Kentebe was a former member of the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, under the administration of former presidents Olusha Gwabasanjo and late Yaradwa, as well as Goodluck Jonathan. The accomplished telecoms engineer and the Johai chief's contribution to the growth and development of the telecommunication sector in Nigeria is recognized by the successive administrations in the country. But above all these, he was a loving father. Every day, you know, I wake up and I think, uh, you know, it's, it's a dream, like he's, he's still here, you know. Oh, he also had a fantastic sense of humor. He could laugh at himself. You know, we could laugh at him, we could laugh with him. And, um, you know, he was, he was just adorable. A very a lovely man, a lovely man. You know, I'll surely miss him. We keep hearing about uh, how good he was. Everybody talks about how kind and how simple he was. But we, his children, know he was a greater, he was greater than life. He was a great influence on his children. He taught us so much about just being kind to everybody, taught us about integrity, upholding the Kentebet name, just being good to everybody. He treasured his children with passion, and he had a passion for people, you know, for helping people. Everyone that had an encounter with my dad, I mean, he left a positive impact in their lives. It was just awesome. After the brief service, he was taken to his final place of rest. He was interred at a private ceremony. Later on, they hosted their guests to a nice reception. The troupe from the Biosa State Arts and Culture entertained the array of guests while they enjoyed their meal. Engineer Kentebe was an extremely thorough person. He had all his facts, his figures, documentations that I asked for were always up and ready at every time. And um, he taught me how to keep records. It's very important in anybody's life. And that's one thing you have to hand over to him. Engineer Sonny Kentebe is survived by children, grandchildren, and other family members who will greatly miss him. May his soul rest in peace. Well, may his soul rest in peace and our condolences to his family. Well, it's on that note we end the show today. Many thanks for tuning in. Remember that you can always watch this and past editions of the show on channelstv.com. Follow us on Twitter, and also you can reach us with the number blinking right on your screen. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'm Ogich Kwasi. Bye for now.